All right, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. We're trying out the update one. Whoa! Where did that guy come from? We're trying out a little bit more of update 114 because I still want to try a few more weapons. We've got the Retro Futurist shotgun with this beautiful purple shader on it today. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay, I need to uninstall the game, it looks like. Look at this connection, though. Who is the host? Wow, look at this connection. Who is the host? Who is the host of this game, dude? Could we bring back connection bars, please? I can't even get to the point of my video with all this lagness. Thank you, Retro Futurist. <laughs> Thank you. Easy mode. Woohoo! Retro Futurist actually. No, I'm dead again. Feels pretty stinking good. Now, I was trying to record for you guys a rumble video, and I just couldn't, man. I got way too tilted. I, the spawns in it are so horrific, dude. Like, you spawn within line of sight of others continually. Ooh, wow. This is a very spongy match. So there's two realities, I think, when it comes to, to Bungie in, in this playlist. Either they didn't test it, which would be really sad, or they did test it and they said, okay, how am I supposed to shoot rubber band? Look at this, dude. Either they did test it and said, whatever, like, it's all good. But you spawn within line of sight of people continually, man. It's really sad. Nice slam, monk. I think that guy's a resolute guy. Oh! Whoa, okay, that wasn't me. I was gonna say, there's like not a chance that was me. <laughs> I am worried about the PC population of this game because you end up playing kind of with the same people over and over again. I played a few hours with Diddy the other night. We were trying out the update. And even in that short little session, we ran into the same people many, many times. And that just makes me concerned, especially like if you guys have seen the trials. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Okay, I guess I didn't die on that one. Never mind. How? In air accuracy, please. All right, GG. Man, what a terrible connection match. Look at that, dude. Look at this. So anyway, oh, please do not match me with those guys again. This is, this is definitely one of the issues, I think, with Destiny 2, hugely. Like, PvP is never going to be able to be taken seriously on peer-to-peer. -peer. Never, dude. Like... It was a meme during Destiny 1. It's still a meme now. I don't get it, man. You have really small studios that do dedicated server games. Yet, yeah, I understand the physics is it's a hybrid system, BBK. It really hasn't changed that much between D1 and D2, let's be real. So kind of my case in point where I'm worried about the PC population, we actually have one of the guys from the last lobby who's also in this one as well. 4,000 PC Guardians played Trials last weekend, across the whole weekend. I'm somewhat starting to think about um, maybe going back to console when I try and record these videos, just to, to have access to that bigger population. Come on. Woo, this gun minuet still feels really good though. I'm gonna die on this? Maybe not? Wow, I got incredibly lucky on that. Watch out, the Legend of Acrius dude's there. Yeah. Maybe I can pick this up in time. I can. They call me Mellow Yellow. Retro Futurist does feel good. It's nice to see shotguns again. Uh, shotguns other than Acrius. Uh, I dropped that shot, I'm dead. Maybe not. He dropped a shot too, so I kind of got very lucky on that. I should have passed. I should have died there for sure. Okay. The thing I was mentioning earlier with Rumble is either they tested it and said, whatever, just push it live anyway with the spawns as bad as they are, or um, they didn't test it. Either reality really bums me out. Um, oh, nice. I didn't know that was not our void locker grenade. Um, void locker. <laughs> it's pretty obvious when you think about it. Eight player rumble on these maps, like, um, no duh. Hold that heavy. Oh, that heavy. Oh, the heavy. I trust you. I trust you, my friend. No, I don't trust you. 
Gosh, the new Arc Strider is just leave me alone status. Oh, it would have been a triple had I actually played that a little bit better. If the grenade hadn't tapped me, I would have had that. That would have been really cool. Just adding all the heavy ammo in the world is a really weird like idea for we're going to make things faster. Of course you are. So I have been playing some Fortnite here uh, as of late. I'm a big PUBG kind of player, and I've had a lot of you guys telling me you need to go try Fortnite. And uh, I've been doing it. It's been fun, man. Fortnite is like, <laughs> I'm still a PUBG guy at heart. I love PUBG so much, but you put up with a lot of like dumb glitchy stuff with Fortnite, or excuse me, with PUBG, that you don't have to put up with um, in Fortnite. Fortnite just like, crazy optimized the amount of updates that game is getting is vicious you can see oh man nice you can see why it's succeeding the way that it is in air accuracy okay i guess i'll back off there why'd you come back to the same spot my dude all right ggs they outplayed us huge um so the moral of the story is this update is weird, man. You have heavy out all the time. If you didn't like Legend of Acrius before, you're definitely not gonna like this stuff moving forward because it's like Legend of Acrius and Colony in all the matches that I have been playing. We'll keep trying it. I'm gonna keep testing this patch out, see what I think of it. It's, it's definitely different. I'm done saying step in the right direction because I don't even know if this was a step in the right direction. After watching that Fallout Plays video and seeing how minimal the changes were actually to movement, uh, it's a, another pretty minor sandbox patch. Like it didn't really shake things up that much other than the whole heavy ammo thing, which Diddy pointed out to me, which is hilarious. We remember when heavy bricks used to drop in D1. I bet some of you guys do too. And then they made heavy ammo bricks not drop on death. And so it's just, it's like we're reliving this inverse we're like Benjamin Button of Destiny. We're regressing back down this pathway we've already gone down. It's like so weird and surreal. But anyway, I'm still gonna keep trying it out. There's lots of weapons I wanna test out. This really is our last big hurrah before expansion two. And I am gonna be, you know, continuing to play some other titles here on the channel. So if you enjoyed this kind of live video, I used to do these a ton on the channel back during Destiny 1. Please let me know with a thumbs up. And of course, comments down below are always appreciated, especially I enjoy reading your feedback about 114. In the previous video, it seems like you guys are all saying too little too late, and if that's still the sentiment, I want to hear about it. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll check in with you again next time.